Hey you guys, it's V from VanillaBunny.com and I'm back with another video. So, I wanted to go ahead and update my nails a little bit because sometimes I just get tired of looking at the same nails over and over again. These were the nails that I actually had put on with acrylic um, about like a week or more ago. And they're on still like really, really good. I can tell I'm going to have to like soak them off because they're on so good. But I just can't keep looking at the same thing over and over again, especially when I'm around like so many nails all the time. If you guys don't know, I wholesale press on nails. So like every single day, I'm looking at new beautiful nails and I'm just getting so like bored of these. I want to switch it up. So what I'm going to do today is sort of like file off the gel on a few fingers and then add some more rhinestones. I'm basically just giving the same set an upgrade so I could like it more <laughs> so I'm filing off the gel on um, my middle finger with my drill and then I'm gonna do like some cute designs with some rhinestones and then I have these charms that are on my website and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to put on big charms so these are the nails now. I went ahead and filed off one side, okay? And I'm gonna put on these big, big charms that I have. I think I wanna do Cookie Monster today. That would be cute because it's like, it's already blue and everything. So let me go ahead and take one out of stock and then I'll show you guys what the Cookie Monster stones look like. The good thing about this is like whenever I want to change up my nails, I could do it. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Okay. For $5 and they're flat back, so they apply very well to the nail. Let me see. You could find these in the charms and bling section. Okay. So here they are. My Cookie Monster charms. I'm going to use these today to go ahead and spice up my nails. So cute. Okay. And I think I'm also going to do my other hand today. I was just busy like modeling my nails, but I could finally put on a new set. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and um, put some glue down. I already filed it so there's like a nice coarseness for the gems to sit in. And I'm taking my McCart rhinestone glue. This is like one of the only rhinestone glues that I use right now and I really like how it works for big gems. So I'm going to start here at the bottom and then do like 10 second cures. Um, in between okay and then I'm also gonna take my stones you could find these also in the charms and bling section and my wax pen these actually just went out of stock yesterday but I'm gonna put more up soon so here we are we're gonna take big stones in small stones and just kind of make the design the best thing about doing your own nails is that you can spice it up whenever you want to so I have all my own nails and I have all of my own charms whenever I want to switch it up I can
And this is my non-dominant hand that I'm doing this on. So if it looks a little funny, it's because I'm using my other hand. And I do have um, rhinestones wholesale on my website. This is how I get my rhinestones because I do make my nails wholesale. So I get them in like big old packs like this just so I don't run out too quickly. A lot of people will get them from Amazon for like $13, $14 in these little palettes. But I prefer to get these big ones because they last, they last much longer and you don't have to waste um, the plastic. So I feel like it's just better to buy it in bulk and I always do. Someone did email me about stones, I think yesterday, but I'm gonna put it in stock and then I'll reply back to that email. You can find all this stuff in the charms and bling section. On the website. Okay, I'm gonna flash care for like, um, 10 seconds just so everything stays in place and then I'm gonna do more these are the stones you could get a hundred of every shape for eight dollars and then with the charms that I'm gonna also use you can get ten of them or twenty of them for five dollars so it just depends on which ones you get we have like Hello Kitty ones you can get twenty for five or you can get the Sesame Street characters. I have Bert and Ernie, Elmo, Cookie Monster, <laughs> all of them. Okay, so we did more than enough time. This is what it looks like so far. And then I'm gonna show y'all how I normally put on my big, um, my big old charms. Cause I do it in a way where like, it's very secure and it kind of has a place to sit down so it doesn't move. Cause I notice when I wear my own nails, like if the charms are very, very big, it can get caught in my hair when I'm running my fingers through my hair or just like, you know, not sit down properly. So the way I do it is I kind of create a perimeter for it to sit down in. Okay, so I laid the glue. I'm gonna do a little measure and see where it can sit. Maybe like that is cute. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do a little perimeter of rhinestones. So almost like I'm outlining it in a circle. I think I'm actually getting better with my um, my left hand. <laughs> Honestly. The next thing I just have to work on is like my speed with my left hand. Okay, I'm gonna do another flash cure. What's your name? I said, Well, we make an agreement that we can just while we'll be your friends. No, you won't. All right, good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot of glue right in the center of this so that I could lay my charm. Just like a really good amount right in there. And that's what it looks like. 
And then I'm gonna lay down Cookie Monster in here. So he's not like floating on the sides. You see how he's sitting down like it's a bed? He's like laying properly. Okay. I'm gonna do another flash here so you could stay. Okay, here we are. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna also do it on this side. So this is an example of how you don't want it to be like floating. But you see how this side, it's like really sitting well. It's on something. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Today, I'm definitely gonna do my other hand. I'm still deciding if I want them to be long or short, but I think I'm gonna do it long. I'll probably do like the style of consulting with a whole bunch of charms. Long nails are definitely a vibe. So in between every like placement I do, I'm just carrying for 10 seconds so that nothing moves around too much. And I'm gonna do this last portion right here and just take these rhinestones up. I'm using the rectangle rhinestones that are on my website and then also some SS, I think this is SS, um, where did I put it? SS 16, the big ones. When you guys put down your rhinestones, do you use top coat to top coat all of them? Or do you leave it just like that with no top coat? Let me know in the comments what you guys do. Because sometimes when you put the top coat, it'll stay better, you know, but it's just not as shiny. So do you prefer to have it more secure and less shiny or less secure and more shiny? No top coat preferred. Okay. Most people do prefer it that way. And sometimes what I'll do is just put a lot of glue to make sure that the gems are secure. And then I'll top coat the perimeter so that the surrounding is like really, really secure. Ooh, we're almost done. Just a little bit more. I'm only doing one side. Yeah, 
I'm using my uh, left hand to do this. If it was my other hand, I would go much faster. <laughs> Cause I'm a righty. keep going until I do the whole entire nail so I'm just gonna keep it like this on one side okay I'm gonna cure for like 60 seconds um and then we're gonna top coat a little bit lately I've been using my Koopa top coat I like this one I feel like I'm liking it more than the eye gel this is the brand of top coat that I'm using for some reason, I've been liking this more than eye gel top coat. I've been using it for like the past two months and it's really, really good. And then the brand of acrylic that I used to apply these nails is this one, the Mia Secret um, Pink Acrylic Powder. And I've had these nails on for eight days so far and they're very, very secure. I use this monomer. This is a local brand of monomer. Um, if you're in Brooklyn, this is where I got it from. And then, yeah, so they've been on for like eight days now and they're doing quite well. Um, what are you using for glue? To glue on the gems, I used the McCart rhinestone glue. That's the one I always use. So I'm going to take some Koopa top coat and we're going to go ahead and top coat it. And just do one side. Like I said, I really only do like the perimeter of the gems because I want them to be shiny. So I'm gonna just do the perimeter on both sides. 